We often assume cells are small because that makes them efficient, better for nutrient exchange, faster reactions, easier control. But what if the real reason lies deeper in the rules of quantum physics? Inside every living cell, complex molecules like those in mitochondria and chloroplasts rely on quantum effects to move particles with precision. For example, electrons in the electron transport chain don't just hop from one molecule to the next, they may tunnel through barriers, or exist in coherent states that allow more efficient energy transfer. These strange behaviors give life its remarkable efficiency, but they only work under strict conditions. As systems grow larger, quantum coherence begins to break down, a process known as decoherence. When that happens, those delicate quantum effects collapse into ordinary thermal noise, and efficiency drops sharply. Some physicists and biologists now propose that this places a natural limit on cell size. If a single cell became much larger, it might lose the ability to use these quantum tricks altogether. In fact, fully simulating even the simplest bacterial cell at a quantum level would overwhelm our fastest supercomputers, suggesting how tightly life operates near the edge of physical limits. So perhaps cells aren't just shaped by evolution, but also by the boundaries set by quantum mechanics. Life may have found a size range where chemistry, information, and quantum energy transfer all stay in balance, a sweet spot where biology can exist without falling apart. That's why cells, across billions of years and countless species, remain small and why going beyond that scale required a new leap, multicellularity.